notice everything on these motorhomes that they all the accessories that they sell they're all called easy for some reason but anyway they got easy gutters so i'm gonna install some easy tpms the system is um, supposed to do a lot more than others and from my little bit of research online it does do quite a bit we'll go through the whole thing but i'm going to set it up first and then just put it on a short ride since I'm going on a uh, long trip this weekend um, we'll test it out real well so I numbered all of them as the instructions and uh, I'm using six flow through valves for the uh, motorhome and I numbered them one through six of course and then the four that I'm using the anti tef type I'm using for the uh, toad, for the car I'm towing. All right, I took the hub cap off to see if it's easier to put in, especially tightening that, um, that small island there. Then I'll put it back on and realign it. It was out of line anyway. This way it'll be nice in the center and it won't hit the uh, sides of the hole there. Yeah, these are my flow through on my uh, rears. As you see, I have it hose extender or something and um, I really didn't need to have the flow through I should have got the anti-theft for these I might switch them over but I only have I don't have that many for the car I won't have enough for the car I can't put these on the car but if I were to do it again I would order the um, anti-theft for the for the rears since I have these extenders already but they don't pop out too much they're okay they don't pop out further than the wheel they're, they're still tucked inside so, just don't look as good, that's all. And I'm doing my car. This is my Saturn V that I tow behind my motorhome. And I'm putting the anti-theft ones, but without the uh, anti-theft shell, I guess. And I'm going to program it so when it's ready, and I'm ready to leave tomorrow, I'll, uh, all I have to do is turn it on and go. Do all the rest of them, and we're ready to go. Alright, tightening the last one. Alright, and let's see what we got here. Got a 103 right front, 103 left front, outside tire 103 on the right, inside tire on the right 103. Inside tire on the left, 103 and 103, baby. 51 car towed, 51 on the left front, 51 on the right rear, and 51 on the left rear. Cool. All right, well, good. We're all set. Putting the cap back on. All right, we're going to go for a little test drive. Let's see. It has its 
I don't have the car with me, so I'm not towing my car, so it's showing blank. And when it goes to the motorhome, you see the right front, 103 pounds. Left front, 103 pounds. Inside, right rear, 101 and 103, 102, and now we're going 102 and 103. Interesting. Go back to the rear axles. They were all at 103. So this is showing 103, 103. 102 on the inside tire on the left side and 103 on the outside left. Gotta keep an eye on that one. Hopefully that valve is tight enough that it's not leaking. But they were when I left they were all at 103. I went back to the car, it's showing 51 pounds, but I don't have the car with me. That's weird. Now it's black. Okay. Alright. Let's uh let's see what happens. Favorite stretch of road. I'm going towards the turnpike. And I always know when I take this road. Most of the time, I'm going with it. This is not pretty. You can get on the uh, turnpike. And there's traffic back up.
still in its 110 on one of them. This thing's out of whack. I'm not very impressed right now. Check it out. Now that stupid light is turning green, but the front ones are good. The rear is 108 outside. Inside is 110. Uh, mind you, these are all at 103. These are, look at that, the inside on the left, 109, and 108 on the outside left. Makes no sense. Okay, maybe somebody could tell me what's going on. 